Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. In May of this year, officials of the Grand Bahama Port Authority and Island Outsourcers, ITAL BPO Solutions, partnered to develop and introduce the Contact Center Education Initiative using the Allison platform for high school students. GBPA Business Development Officer of the Invest Grand Bahama Unit, Glendia Sweeting, says the first year proved to be a tremendous success for CCEI as they had support from all the local high school principals and vice principals. By the time as we got to graduation in June of this year, we had some 600 plus certifications having been achieved by students across the island. It's been a phenomenal effort by everyone involved, um, the Grand Bahama Port Authority, ITEL BPO, and definitely all of the high schools. Everyone pulled together to do something great for the kids. And the truth is the children are our future. And so as we begin to work on this new generation of children, we're very happy that they would have taken this particular program seriously, that they're working hard, and that they would have been successful in achieving their certifications. Sweeting says that last year, three groups of courses were introduced, and they are looking to surpass those areas this year. We addressed customer service, we did sales management and also leadership skills in business and that was the start of it. In year two now, we've realized as the contact center industry grows, we've been receiving advice from ITEL BPO and we now realize that we have to get a bit more technical with some of the courses that we offer so it's not just soft skills, we're also going to be offering more marketing courses. Um, social media is really big right now. and. So so social media management for small businesses being offered and some other e-commerce courses that the students can use whether they are in a call center or if they're working for some other business. So the fact that these skills can be used transferably is also something really good for the students. Alive and Cable Bahamas have joined as sponsors for this year as well. The month of October was celebrated as National Youth Month. Here in Grand Bahama, activities included a speech competition put on by the Ministry of Youth, Sports and Culture in conjunction with Toastmasters Deborah Pratt of the Toastmasters Club. In other news, a major initiative set to take place on Grand Bahama this weekend, providing residents with a much needed boost and encouragement. It's also expected to meet some important needs. Clear and Patrick Murphy reports. That what you've been through for the past decade is about to be over. You're coming out and it's going to be a greater and better day. That's the declaration designed to offer hope and encouragement to the people of Grand Bahama. Uplift 2017, featuring the Bahamas' own Shabak, expects to make a significant impact on the island. Coordinator of the event and director of Shabak, Clint Watson, says after more than a decade of difficult times, Grand Bahamians who have proven to be resilient people deserve a change. After seeing all that they've gone through, uh, we felt that there needs to be a greater connection with the people here in New Providence to the people in Grand Bahama. So Shabak was scheduled to go to Grand Bahama to do a regular concert. And we decided that rather than just going to do a concert, let's do something more tangible for the people. So we decided to make it an entire movement for the weekend. So we got our, some of our colleagues in, in the industry, other artists like Christian Massive, Najee Dunn, and we said, why don't you all come on and go with us? Let's go to Grand Bahama and offer something that, that they've never had before. Watson says fresh off their European tour, Shabak is ready to give Grand Bahamians an experience that will indeed uplift them. Putting on probably the biggest concert you've ever seen in gospel music uh, featuring Shabak and other artists from New Providence on Grand Bahamas, Simeon Alton, Vanessa Clark, uh, Kelda Sweeting, uh, in the denominational mass choir, some of the major gospel artists on the island just to have a major event of uplifting. The whole idea is what it says, uplifting the people of Grand Bahama, letting them know that the worst is over and they're darkening a new day, they're dawning a new day. But it's not just all about spiritual upliftment. The outreach will include free distribution of grocery boxes, most of which have been donated by major wholesale companies like Asa H. Pritchard in Nassau and Sawyers in Freeport. 
And so what we'll be doing is giving away free boxes of groceries to families who are in need. And so we're doing two events, one on that Saturday evening at 6 p.m. In, in, in 8 Mile Rock, because that's where the community is in the West who've been going through the, the most. And so we're going to do an outreach there at 6 p.m. We're partnering with local community leaders like Jimmy Smith to put on an outreach with Christian Massive and Najee Dunn, talk to the people, be able to reach the people's needs. We'll give away some of the grocery then. And then the main event is on Sunday evening at Community Heart Church of God, a prophecy in Coral Road, where we'll do the main concert featuring Shabbat. And that's when all of the bulk of the grocery will be given out to people that just come out and say, we're in need, we need some grocery. We're just going to give it all away. Both events on Saturday and Sunday evening are free. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News. And now it is time to ask the doctor. This is Ask the Doctor. Welcome. Recently, there's been an outbreak of hand, foot, and mouth disease presenting to our emergency room. First, it is important to know that this is not the same foot and mouth disease which occurs in animals. So what exactly is hand, foot, and mouth disease? It is a common viral illness that usually affects infants and children younger than age 5. However, it sometimes occurs in older children and adults. It is caused by viruses that belong to the enterovirus family. The virus can be found in the nose and throat secretions, fluid from blisters and stool of an infected person. The infected person may then spread it through close personal contact by coughing or sneezing, contact with stool, or with contaminated objects and surfaces. So if you would like more information about this disease, please email AskDrBahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Mooney Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away, a check on sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn. <laughs>